Here we have a graphic display for an air pressure process control unit that some students have built. We're taking a look at the faceplate of the controller, the PID controller, where we have set point, process variable, and output adjustment. Then over here, a trend display. What we're going to do is perform an open loop test. So go ahead and put the controller in manual. It's in manual. It is in manual. And make a step change on the output. So Typing in a different one. Okay. We can see the change in the process. We see the set point stepped up, the blue line. The yellow line is the air pressure in the tank. You can see it step up and then ramp as it self-regulates to a new equilibrium value. We'll let that go for a little while before making another step change. Okay, try another step change. Uh, Made a step change down to 40. There's a big step change in the, the output value there in blue, and there's the process variable value ramping in yellow. This is a manual mode step change. So there's no set point we're tracking here. It's simply the output and the process variable. Hit the print screen button now. Go into our keyboard. What that does is it makes a screen capture of everything we see on here. Now we're able to go into a program such as Microsoft Paint and paste that bitmap image and then we can print it out on paper. So what's the purpose of doing this? What are we going to do with this data, Luke? Um, well, we, by doing this, we can calculate the, um, the process's system gain. Also, we can see the lag time and the dead time in the system and calculate that. Cool. And we'll eventually use that data to calculate PID parameters for this process. So that way, we'll have appropriate PID parameters in the controller to do closed loop control. This is simply an open loop step change test to probe the characteristics of the process.